This look is actually perfect for those of you guys who don't have any ideas for Halloween yet. I know the struggle. I'm only using makeup products here to create this look, so it's perfect for a last minute Halloween look as well. I'm doing my normal makeup here, so I'll just fast forward a bit, but I was going for that soft rose petal themed bridal look, so in case you're interested in checking out the products, I will link everything down below. To create that blood splattered look, all you need is basically a sponge or a styrofoam that has some bubbly holes or a texture. And we also need different colors of burgundy, brown lipsticks, or red lipsticks. The more colors you have, the more realistic it looks. I'm simply using a sponge as a stamp. There's no specific way to do it, so play around with it and be creative as much as you can. I preferred starting from the darker brown and layering um, burgundy and red on top to create that really bruised up look. You can also mix purple or green here and there. If you sweep the sponge, it'll actually create a scratch look. So sweep and dot, sweep and dot play with it based on your reference. Layering different hues of red really makes a difference so make sure you prepare more than two. I wanted to create a deep cut as well so I basically used different sizes of small tiny brushes with different um, colors of lipsticks. So you might want to wiggle your hand here a little bit to give that illusion of spotty bleeding. I recommend you guys to go heavy with the dog circles because it really tops up the look. I used a matte lilac -y purple eyeshadow underneath my eyes but I actually regret not going overboard with it. Now we're gonna draw in some veins. Navy eyeshadow or either navy lipstick will work. You don't really want it too pigmented so use a really really light hand when drawing it. Can you look up some veins? Oh! Ooh. Deepen this up. Also, I added some black eyeliner at the end and smudged it all over my face to give that, you know, like apocalyptic look. So that's it for today's makeup tutorial for Halloween. I hope you guys have a wonderful, spooky Halloween. Stay safe and have an enjoyable weekend, guys. And if you're curious of how we did this look, you can come on over to my channel. I'm sure you'll have a great time. <laughs> that just sounds really wrong. I wasn't even thinking about that. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, all you need to do is hit that red subscribe button down below. And if you like this costume or transformation for Halloween, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below as well. That would mean a lot. And yeah, um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Don't laugh! Oh, stars.